let's take a look how we can use the results that we have right here now for design of our um, structural member. So now we have our bending results, whatever they are right now here. Um, and I would like to do a structural check. And there are two ways, depending on the materials, um, how you can do this. If this is a steel structure, then the educational version of uh, visual analysis actually does do a unit check, which you can um, at least use as a preliminary check for your structure. If it's made of wood or um, any other material for that matter, um, then it doesn't come with the educational version, but the full version does, of course, a full code check. Now, how does this work? Again, this is a steel frame right here. There we go. Nice white flange member. Nothing too fancy. Extremely oversized for that matter. Um, if you go to the next tab, Design View, then um, you see up here Educational Checks. So it basically does a unit check um, where it looks at stresses and looks at looks at material properties and um, compares the two. And now you see here that I'm, I'm at a 2.2% efficiency for my field and at about a 1.6% efficiency for my um, for my uh, cantilever. And of course, nothing fails anywhere around there. So this would be now enough information for me to go back into model view highlight my members and actually pick a smaller cross-section and re-check everything. Let me just go back to result view. Um, in result view uh, you do get um, stresses and so you do get bending stresses, you get axial stresses if you got uh, uh, something that's more complex than this or a truss or something and then you can always go ahead and take those and of course do a quick hand check um, where you can, of course, apply any kind of code um, formulas to uh, check the results that you get from this um, calculation. If you don't have material properties on hand, you can actually go back into model view, highlight the member that you picked. You see here database shape, but then there's also material. And then if you click on the material, you see that there are some material properties um, in there, like a yield stress or a modulus of elasticity. Um, but again, this is all limited, of course, and this is where, where you need to consult your other um, material property sources. A last one that I wanted to show you is the member graph tab right down here, where you can look a little closer at these values. So now I know, okay, well, this is my moment um, shape. I do have a field moment, I have a support moment, but then if I click on member graph, I do see this a little bit more in detail. You do get um, these values here. You can actually um, uh, customize this quite a bit. You have deflection up here, you have shear, you have um, bending, and you can use this now to get maximum values to get zero um, bending uh, moment uh, locations like eight and a half feet in this case and so on so you can use this very much for um, analyzing individual members in your in your system